back to Amy and Sean. 1027 VGS. The best. Netflix is the best. I mean, in the hierarchy when it comes to streaming services, uh-huh. I think Netflix end up, ends up taking the... Uh, Although, do you think it's it's gotten better over time, or is it kind of like fluttering? It seems like a little bit. Well, uh, fluttering a little bit. Like I feel like they they have like some downtime. It's almost like their TV as well. You know what I mean? Like their their cable as well. They yeah. have like downtime where they're not putting a really a ton of good stuff on there. But uh, recently, I have watched like two or three documentaries and shows on. I'm watching. Um, it's called Baby Reindeer. And I'm so confused. If you've seen it, you're confused as well. What baby? It, it, it's like about a stalker. This girl stalks this guy. I don't. I still don't know where the baby reindeer. Oh, she calls him baby reindeer. Why I don't know. But it's very strange. And from what I understand, the guy that is playing this really, um, it's it, it's pretty dark. Yeah. And um, he, it's him. He's playing him. Like, it happened to him in real life, and now he's playing him. Oh, wow. It's like, who do you want to play you in the movie? Me? I'll do it. <laughs> Pay me. I want my SAG card. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. So it, and the show is yeah. very I mean, I do like the idea, the idea that these streaming services exist. It, it, there was a survey that was released by CableTV.com, ironic, uh, saying that 33% of uh, people still favor Netflix over any other streaming service, but that a quarter of people believe that it's declining quality over the past year. Yeah. Now, uh, the reason I'm bringing this up is uh, uh, the Peacock is increasing their rate now to, I think, what, $8 mm-hmm. a month? Or if you want ad-free, it's like 14 or 15 a month mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. Thoughts on that? You have Peacock, right? No, I don't have. That's one I don't have. Don't you have like all of them? Well, no, th- this is why it's frustrating is I have this uh, like a... Um, what do you call it? The the fire stick. Ah. So I have everything. Like I have <laughs> HBO and I have all of uh, all of them. But when the the football games are on Peacock, they I they're not on our our fire stick. You have a fire stick that doesn't get the games. Does wow! Not. I get all of the games except the one that is on Peacock. Really? Last year there was one regular season and one playoff game, and we could not get them. And this year they have two or three on Peacock. So, uh, and you know me, I I just I have to watch every football game. So and you got this fire stick? What at a swap meet? Uh, no, we've had it for, gosh, we've had it for three or four years. I don't know where, where Patrick got it. Mm-hmm. Off a truck. <laughs> it's it's, well, one, of, it's one of those things. you say it every time. It's probably not legal, but... It's, um, it's not, but it's not your but fault. I don't yeah, care. You're not the one that's sharing it. You're just viewing it. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. like Napster. It wasn't the downloading that was illegal. Yeah. It was the sharing that was illegal. Uh, whatever the case, yeah, I, I think that's where kind of where it's going because you have HBO Max, you have Discovery, you have Disney+, Plus, you have mm-hmm. Apple TV+, Plus, uh, and, and they're all starting to kind of like merge together. Mm-hmm. There was HBO, the HBO Max and what, Discovery, like... Discovery yeah, a lot Plus of them. Merge. Yeah, a lot of them merge together, and it's it's so confusing. I know there was a Paramount that ended up being, or like MTV went to Paramount or oh, something. Someone's trying to buy Paramount. Sony is trying to buy Paramount now, and they have their own stuff, and they'd have their own thing, and Sony would buy CBS. Like, the whole thing is insane. It's and nuts. the only reason I was watching Paramount is because of Yellowstone, which is complete trash house. So uh, <laughs> there's and and uh, there's no reason to have that that one anymore. I think we got rid of it. Yeah. NBA on TNT. Pretty awesome, right? Uh, yes. And you have uh, Shaq is on there. Charles right. Barkley's on Which there. I'm still, I still say all of the, every single year, the finals are not on TNT. So Shaq and Charles, they don't do the finals. I hate it every year because they are half the entertainment. They are. They are so good and they, they don't do the final. It's so bad. Are, every year I complain. Are you ready to have your heart broken? Hmm. Amazon is making a move for the rights for the games that TNT gets. They could lose the rights to NBA. They've had it for 35 Mm -hmm. years. And that means no Shaq, no Charles, because they're in their contract with Mm -hmm. TNT. Mm -hmm. Everything's going different streaming stuff. And they're all going to unify. And guess what they're going to call it? Cable. (laughs) Yeah, I know. know. (laughs) Honest to God, this is like more expensive cable. Uh It's the worst. It's so bad. And there's good, there's like one or two good things on each service. So that's what makes you want to get the next one. But... What a pain. What yeah, a pain. It really is. It. Mm-hmm. So uh, about Peacock, uh, raising the rates and no one cared because no one has. Mm-hmm.